The haze of spent gunpowder hangs over the gravel-strewn beach, confusing the seabirds that nest on the rocky outcroppings of Shinhai Bay. As soon as the winds of the eastern sea disrupt the cloud, the Japanese navy will return, cannons blazing at the sea walls and what remains of the Korean fleet. Although the army has so far managed to repel any of the samurai that have waded ashore, it is only a matter of time before the Japanese are victorious. The last hope for the Korean Navy is an innovative commander named Yi Soon Shin. Admiral Yi is constructing a secret weapon, a ship with iron armor that can withstand the Japanese cannon and a spiked hull to repel borders. He calls these ships Kobuksan, or turtle ships. If Admiral Yi can ready his fleet of turtle ships in time, then the Koreans stand a chance of defeating the Japanese. On the other hand, if he's too late, the Japanese were unable to establish a base on either China or Korea. Therefore, all supplies and reinforcements had to come from the Japanese islands themselves. Once Admiral Yi destroyed the Japanese Navy, the samurai armies were isolated from supply, and the invasion ended. Yi Sun-shin died in the battle, but the Japanese commander Hideyoshi died soon after, and with him, the lust for Japanese conquest. The possibility of a Japanese empire in Eastern Asia in the 16th century died under the guns of slow but deadly armored Korean warships. <laughs>